King Kong made his dramatic debut in 1933. And now, 53 years later, Universal Studios Tour is bringing him back in a big way. According to show producer Peter Alexander, the new Kong will be 30 feet tall and fully animated. We can do this live so that you not only see the creature and see the effects, but you, you smell his breath, you feel the fire, you, you feel the steam. It has a visceral impact on you. Tom Reisenbach designed the physical look of Kong. And to ensure that this beast was authentic, he based his work on medical gorilla anatomy books. We didn't want to create just a big screaming gorilla, but we did want to show emotion. We wanted to be able to show uh, fear and curiosity and anger and fright. This was accomplished by mechanical designer Bob Gurr. Gurr constructed King Kong so that he would perform 29 different movements. And despite his subtle facial expressions, he would weigh almost 14,000 pounds. It uh, delights me to no end to go into the next state of art, which is sort of the uh, giant 747, if you will, of animated figures, which is the famous King Kong. The actual construction lasted five months and utilized the expertise of 40 workers. After nearly 600 pounds of fur were added to the framework and detailed work was completed on the head, King Kong was shipped to his new home. It's even more lifelike than I expected. After the mighty Kong was installed, attention was focused on his computer program. Alexander knew that with a number of sophisticated special effects movies around, the audience would be tough to please. They have very high expectations now. So you've just got to really knock them out. So it appears that the legend of King Kong will continue to threaten millions of people for years to come.